Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Heist League 3.12. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about how to target farm incursions. That's uh, Alva, if you don't know, and uh, I'm going to go through all the all the details, so don't worry if you don't know how Alva works. Also, the inspiration for this was uh, two hours ago this morning, I was thinking of what should I make a video about, and Gimme... Uh, wrote, can you make a video on how to target farming Alva Double Corruption Room? Yeah, yeah, I can, man. Thanks for the comment. Uh, so I did that. Um, I've made this presentation. You guys have maybe seen this kind of stuff before. But, uh, yeah, I think the bottom of my thing's cut off. That's annoying. But either way, let's get into it. So we're target farming incursions Alva. Let's go. Oh, the bar's gone. Perfect. Uh, so we'll start it off with Alva Valet. Alva Valet is a master. She gives the player access to incursions. You find Alva from Act 7 onwards. In Act 7, you must complete the No Time Like the Present. That's the quest where you find the causeway and you meet Alva and you must complete the incursions. How to get more Alvas in maps? Because I've talked about obviously doing the initial finding Alva in the first place and doing your first Alva. Okay, I didn't explain how the Alva works. I will. Don't worry. I just want to talk about... How to get more first. How to get more Alva in maps. So you can use master missions to guarantee Alva in your map. Uh, you get a daily master mission for the last color of map you did before 8 p.m. EST. These are daily master missions you get. Uh, also, you gain random master missions from completing maps, which is killing the boss. Um, you can also use the prophecy, Master Seeks Help, uh, specifically Alva. I showed a picture here, actually, that there's five Master Seeks Helps. It's for each Master, and so you'd want the Alva one. The seal costs us two, and this is what the Master uh, Missions looks like. So I had one white tier map, zero yellow, and 14 red. Um, and the final thing is, it's not in maps, but you can also farm Alva in Quarry. Quarry is a great place. Because Alva is really close to the waypoint. Uh, incursions. So now we'll talk about how the actual incursions work. Because I've told you how to get Alva. How to get Alva on your maps. But now what the hell do you actually do with Alva? So incursions are short duration visits to the past. Where you enter a room with a 10 second timer. Two Val architects and monsters. Where killing monsters monsters increases the time allowed. And killing monster monsters drops stone of passages. Uh, you can use the Stone of Passages to open up the doors of the Temple of Atsol. Temple of Atsol is like the main enchilada. Uh, before entering, you can see two options. You choose which of the two Val Architects or none to kill, and by killing one, you will get the reward which is upgrading the room tier or swapping the room to another tier. So you can see in my picture, we had Zopek, Architect of Power, and it, killing him changes the room to the Royal Meeting Room, which is probably the upgraded version of the smaller one. And then this one is uh, kill this guy to get the Lightning Workshop, which is a completely different room, which will be Tier 1. So we can either upgrade to a Tier 2, or we can change to a different Tier 1. Uh, or neither. You don't have to kill either. Um, after 12 incursions of doing this, the completed Temple of Atsol can be entered and looted. So generally, you want to unlock as many doors as possible with the Stone of Passages and upgrade as many rooms to Tier 3, the highest, by killing the Valokrotek to the top right of the incursion. Because, the, obviously, then you'll have tons of T3 rooms and you're in your great temple. And when you clear the temple out after, it's going to be more loot, more, more monsters, uh, different mods probably. Um, and then I showed a full temple. The bottom right and the top right is um, this is Alva and you talk to him, talk to her, and then she starts the incursions. Uh, so this is the Temple of Atsol. Temple of Atsol is a large dungeon area. You kind of decide which rooms and layout and content you get based on the Val architects you killed in the incursion. So like I showed how you could choose between the Lightning and the um, Royal Meeting Room. Uh, you unlock this after 12 incursions. Each type of room has its own modifiers, risks, and rewards. The area level of the temple is determined by the average level of zones a player opened incursions in, plus 10 levels. Capped at the highest level of one of the incursions the player did. So you can do 9 incursions, because there's 12 in total, right? 9 incursions in a 73 zone, and then 3 incursions in an 83 zone, and then the temple will still be an 83. Which, actually, I think you could go even lower than 73, because you have 383, so the average will be probably higher than 73. But, yeah, point is, look what you can get away with if you want an 83 temple. 
Uh, you only have six one-use portals to access this temple, so be careful, don't die. And the end boss of the temple is the Val Omnitech. It's located in the top chamber, the final temple room. To access the top, use Stone of Passages to unlock the doors during, incur during incursions, or unlock the Explosive Room Plus, could be higher tier, you get more of these. And you can get extra Flash Powder Kegs, which can be used to open those doors during the temple. So let's say you didn't open all the doors, then if you have this, uh... These explosion rooms, you get the extra flash powder keg, and you can open up the passageways. Uh, so then, the Val Omnitech is the final boss of the Temple of Atsul. I don't really have any tips for him. Pretty easy, depending on the level of the area and the mods, obviously. But uh, no quick tips. You need to know about it. I, I, I generally just... It's easy. Uh, I don't know. Why would we target farm incursions? Alright, we're finally at the juice. We've explained Alva, we've explained how all this works, now let's explain the actual concept of the video. How to target farm Alva Double Corruption Room. Okay, so, to try to target specific rooms and incursions to get three tier 3 versions of those rooms in the Temple of Etzel. That's why we would target it. I like to target three rooms. First, the Corruption Chamber that turns into the Catalyst for Corruption, and then it becomes Locus of Corruption to get access to two random corruptions on the item you use it on, also known as double corruptions, which is the exact question he wanted to know how to farm double corruptions. But uh, some other rooms I like to target farm are also the sacrificial chamber that turns into the hall of offerings, which turns into apex of ascension. Uh, in the Apex of Ascension, we get the Altar of Sacrifice, which can be used one time to basically Ancient Orb a unique belt item level 40 for a Headhunter. It's not guaranteed, obviously, but you can gamble for a Headhunter. Uh, or, in the Apex of, uh, Apex of Ascension only, it can transform unique items found exclusively in the Temple of Asshole by sacrificing specific unique items with a matching vial to upgrade it. There's nine different vials called Awakening, Consequence, Dominance, Fate, Summoning, Ritual, Transcendence, Sacrifice, and Ghost. And finally, the last room I like to target farm is Doriani's Institute, which is a gem room tier 3, which has a lapidary lens that corrupts a skill or support gem, modifying it unpredictably twice. Another double corruption, but only for gems, not for items. That's why there's the double corruption for real items, and then the double corruption for gems, and there's also sacrifice, which is big money, potentially, or creating bigger. Anyways, uh, so this is the locus of corruption in the left, that's the gems, and that's the sacrifice, those are the pictures. Uh, how to actually target farm a room. This is what he wanted. This, we're finally at the juice. Alright, gimme. Um, in this case, in this example, we're gonna focus on the corruption chamber. That turns into the catalyst for corruption and finally becomes locus of corruption. So you open a map with Alva, find the incursion. You look at the information presented about this incursion. It'll show the two Val archetypes, the two room choices, and what happens when you kill them. So you can see here, top right, uh is the lightning workshop bottom left is the royal meeting room on this one it actually switched in the in the same with 10 it's kind of funny or did i switch i messed it up whatever point is <laughs> i switched it whoops but point is let's say you're offered these two things um and then you have your 10 incursions remaining your temple of that soul okay so first tip is look at if either choice is corruption chamber. If neither are the corruption chamber, always upgrade by killing the Val architect in the Val architect in the top right. So you kill the guy in the top right, upgrade the room, because um, neither are corruption chamber, and you'd rather try to achieve tier three rooms because you don't get them anymore. You don't get them, so you'll lower the pool of rooms that you can hit if you get tons of tier three rooms. Uh, second tip. If killing the Vel Architect to the bottom left would give you the room Corruption Chamber, do that instead of upgrading. So let's say, imagine this Royal Meeting Room said Corruption Chamber, and we do, obviously we wouldn't have Corruption Chamber anywhere else in the whole temple, because it can only give it to you once, it can only give you each room once. So in this case, we would want to upgrade, uh, we'd want to swap to the Corruption Room. Okay, then tip three. After completing the incursion with the Corruption Chamber, leave the map and start a new Alva because you can't get another Corruption Chamber from the same map you already found one. So, like, if the changing to the Room of Corruption was the first or second Alva in the map, you should start a new one because the other two incursions in the map won't have the Corruption Chamber. And so it's the same thing on if you find um, 
an upgrade to a corruption chamber, then the rest of the map can't have the corruption chamber, so you should uh, start a new one. Uh, how to actually target farmer room continued. So fourth tip, after doing the first two incursions in an area and there is one remaining, check the Alva's rooms. If not upgrading to a tier three room, skip this incursion and start a new one. The reason is, the next map will start with this room, making it so you don't find this room in the next two incursions. So you are essentially blocking a room you don't want, but if the third incursion on a map would upgrade a room to a tier 3, just upgrade the room to the tier 3 because once a room is tier 3, you also can't get it anymore. So it's the same, and you save one incursion of an alpha. Which could save you an entire alpha for completing a Temple of Atsul, because you would prefer that each of your alphas... I mean, every time you use Alva on your map, it gives you three incursions. It would be a waste if you have to start up an extra Alva just to get one incursion, potentially. Uh, so the point here is to uh, skip the final final room, if not upgrading to Tier 3. And if it is Tier 3, upgrade. Uh, fifth tip, I try to only target one room at a time. Because it will low if you try to do more than one, it will lower your success of individual rooms if you target two at a time. Example, let's say you're doing your incursions looking for sacrifice and corruption chamber. You get presented with a choice to either upgrade this useless room or swap it to a sacrifice room. Well, it turns out swapping here instead of upgrading then lowers the chance of upgrading this to a tier 3, removing it from the pool of available rooms to get presented with. So by focusing on one room at a time, I would upgrade that useless room, hopefully increasing the chances of finding my double corruptions. There's are all my tips. They, this is everything we've come up with, and I, I believe that each of these will increase your chances, and it makes a gigantic difference if you were just brain dead running Alva compared to this. This, you're going to notice the difference. You're going to be able to farm double corruptions every like half an hour if you're just constantly running Alva, so it's really insane. It makes a huge difference, and uh, I think... The things that people are going to have the biggest problem with is remembering to check the final incursion on a map and making sure that they skip it if it isn't a tier 3 room or to do it if it does turn into a tier 3. I think that's the one they're going to mess up on the most um, and maybe not focusing on just the double corruption. Those are the biggest two that I've that I've noticed. Anyways, thank you guys for all this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps anyone who was curious about incursions in Alva. I hope this helps anyone who wanted to target farm double corruptions like Gimme. And uh, th this is a golem snakehead. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So you know how I showed like the golem cat, golem dog, golem everything, golem hamster? There's a golem snakehead. It's obviously not spelled to golem, but it's more golem from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Either way, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was informative. Um, now there's going to be tons of double corruptions coming into the game. Thank you guys for hanging out. I'm going to take this opportunity to thank my patron and my YouTube members who financially support the channel. I can't do this without you guys, so thank you guys for all the support. And thank you to anyone new who joins the patron or the YouTube members today. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!